Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin here serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video on ductless units because this is something that I have realized just from our experience that a lot of folks don't know. To start out, I'm going to make a statement that might surprise you and that is a percentage of ductless systems are oversized. And I don't want to attach an actual percentage to that. I don't know if it's a majority or, or whatever, but it's definitely a certain amount of them that are oversized for the space that they are in. And you might say, what? You know, that's, that's what? What are you saying here? If you've watched any of my videos, I've actually done other videos on proper heat load calculations, proper HVAC sizing, proper duct sizing, and how important all those things are. And so you might be surprised to hear that a lot of ductless systems are oversized for the space they're in. So first thing I wanna do after telling you that is uh, I'm gonna tell you a quick story and then I'm gonna tell you why this might be a problem, but I'm also gonna tell you why it might not be a problem. So as long as you're armed with the proper education on how to use your system, it may not be a big deal. Let me back up. A few years ago, we installed a system for these folks and they had an oil furnace with an air conditioning system on their first floor and they were looking for something to add to the upstairs. They wanted to heat and cool a couple bedrooms upstairs. They were more concerned about the cooling, you know, heat rises. So it wasn't as big of a deal uh, for the heating uh, but they, you know, they're really concerned with the cooling because it was getting really hot up there. They even had ductwork running up there, but it just wasn't cooling the space well enough. And so we installed a two-headed ductless system into each one of these bedrooms. What happened there and what happens in a lot of these spaces where I'm telling you that it is oversized is, you know, you'll get spaces such as a bedroom where, you know, you're only talking 150 square feet, 250 square feet, however many square feet it is. And once you do a heat load calculation and all that stuff, you know, the smallest ductless units, you know, head on the wall that a lot of these brands make would be a half ton. So 6,000 BTUs is a half ton of cooling. And that space in some cases isn't even calling for a quarter ton of cooling. And so what these folks were having after we installed this system was they were actually having some condensation issues and in the closets it had even gotten so bad that they were starting to get a little bit of the M word on the wall, a little bit of mold. Now, if you hear that, it might scare the heck out of you, but what we found out and the reason that this was a problem, first of all, it should not have been a problem. If the system is installed properly and it's being operated properly, it should not be a problem. But the reason it was a problem is they had their son, he would only come in on the weekends and he was, you know, he was an adult, so he would only be there on the weekends and he would come in and he would turn the system all the way up. He would turn the fan all the way up and the, you know, temperature all the way down and turn that system on to where it was just going to cool the space as quickly as possible and even continue to run afterwards, right? I mean, it was just cooling the space so fast paired with the system being oversized. Again, you know, half ton of cooling is the smallest indoor ductless wall hung head in a lot of cases. And that was too large for these small bedrooms. So again, they were starting to have these issues and that's what we figured out. We found out their son was improperly using the system. So what can you do to alleviate this issue or to you know not have those problems? On your remote control for your ductless unit, you wanna make sure you're setting that system to where it can operate in a, what we would call an auto mode or you know a, a mode to be able to reach temperature and then ramp down and still dehumidify from the space. And in some cases, if, if you're not concerned necessarily with cooling the space for whatever reason, a lot of those systems even have a dehumidify function. So where, you know, they're still removing humidity from the space and you're not going to have those issues. So in other words, you don't want to go on that remote control, turn it all the way up, have that system just running full blast, cooling the space. You know, everything holds heat. 
you hold heat, your furniture holds heat, your walls hold heat. And you know, when you cool that space that fast, you got this hot wall, cold meat and hot, and they were condensating. Ultimately, what you're giving that system a chance to do is to ramp down. And what that means is, if you have a system at 6,000 BTUs, but you're setting it to where it can, you know, reach temperature, but run at a low speed instead of just full bore, uh, what it's doing is, you know, it's, it might even at times reach that 6,000 capacity and, and be blowing into that room. But once it realizes it's about to reach temperature and it's removing humidity and all that good stuff, it'll actually drop to a lower speed, which is more efficient than actual short cycling and, and systems turning on and off. And so an inverter system will just ramp down and just run at a lower speed. So, you know, that 6,000 BTU system might only be operating at a few hundred BTUs. It just depends on how far that system can ramp down. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or if you're not really sure on, you know, whether your system has a auto or mode or, or if you're using it properly, uh, definitely give me a comment uh, down below. Give me your model numbers and all that good stuff, brand, and I will look it up if you're having issues. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.